Hi guys, this is Darren from Darren's Tech Tutorials. Um, in our continuation of our Windows 11 for Beginners and Seniors series, we're now going to look at how to change system settings on Windows um, 11. Okay, so I'm logged in my Windows 11 here, and I want to, I'm not too sure, but I want to change some settings. How, how would I do that? So it's really easy. I'll come down to search here. I'm just going to type in settings. I even get S-E-T-T. And we can see system settings now appears. So I'm going to click up here. And this should open all our system settings. So there's loads of options here. So we have home, we have display, sound. So I'll just click through all of these one by one. We won't go in, in great detail, but let's just have a look. System. We can see display. I might want to change some of my display settings. Sound. Maybe my sound's a little bit low. Um, I'm going to look. Maybe I can increase it here. Um, you have options around microphone and some advanced options. And if you want to come out, you can just click back up here and go back to system and I'm back into system settings. The storage, multitasking, activation, troubleshooting for issues you may be having, remote desktop, clipboard. You can find out about your PC by clicking about. So you can find out some of the key specs, you know, any RAM that you may have, um, the processor that you may have. So let me just click back to system. Um, so there's loads of stuff within the system um, section. You could do Bluetooth and devices. If you wanted to connect to some Bluetooth speakers, you could have a look here. Anything to do with printers and scanners, you could have a look and see anything here if you wanted to add a device. You have network and internet. Are you connected to the internet? How much internet have you used? All that information's here. Personalization. I haven't activated this yet as a, a test PC for this course, but you could also change your background, colors, teams, anything you'd like to do. If you want to put a picture of your family as the background, you can do it from here. Some of your key apps, default apps, things that you want to use. Anything around accounts, if you want to add an additional account, um, you can do that item here. Um, time and language. Um, so at the moment, um, I'm in Dublin, so my time is Dublin. Um, we can see here my region's actually incorrect, and maybe I might be able to change that here. Um, so you can do all that regional things that you may need to change here. So I can look to see if I can find Ireland, for example. And I'll have a look, and there we go, that's Ireland. And I imagine this might be in, in the way. No, but that all looks okay. So we've now added that to Ireland. Perfect. So you can then check gaming. If you're into gaming, you can check that. Accessibility. So if you want to change some items to make it that it's easier for you to use your PC, easier to see it, you could make the mouse clicker bigger. You can make the font bigger all from here. Privacy and security. So anything worries you have around privacy, you can change some of that information there. And Windows Update, you can tell Windows, go check for new updates. And you can see here, it's actually looking for me to install these updates. So I might actually say, yeah, let's go ahead and install, start installing these updates now. So you can see that the updates will now begin to install. And really anything you need to do around system settings, your first point, port a call, click search, look for your settings, open that up, and away you go. Um, I do hope that was helpful. Um, any questions, please do comment below. As always, thank you for watching and please subscribe for more Windows related uh, tutorials for beginners. Thank you.